Hi everyone, welcome to my video. In this video, I want to show you a really, really good um, affiliate uh, WordPress plugin. So if you have a WooCommerce store and you want to get some more traffic or uh, want to get more sales. So I think it's a good idea to install uh, or offering an affiliate program on your website or on your uh, WooCommerce store because affiliate programs are always a good thing if you want to encourage other people to make the marketing for you and drive uh, traffic to your store. So that means, um, yeah, when you are offering an affiliate program. Uh, the main benefits, of course, are that um, other people um, do the marketing for you, that other people bring in um, customers to your store and uh, yeah, bring in people to your store that buy your product. And um, of course, when somebody um, buys something with an affiliate link, then of course you have to pay a commission for this. But I think this is not that bad because um, the more traffic you are getting, the the better it is and if you are paying um, I don't know 10% or 15% or even 20% commission rate I think it's even it's it's good because yeah you're making more sales and uh, uh, yeah making more money overall and for the affiliate of course it's also really good because um, he makes uh, he can make money um, and he don't need to have any product or to run the store and all he has to do the affiliate has to do is promote the product from your store so and in today's video i want to show you um, a really really good um, plugin i use the plugin on a few stores of mine so and today i want to uh, show you what this plugin is and this plugin is jyth uh, woocommerce affiliate and uh, this plugin is I think um, the best uh, almost the best affiliate plugin and uh, this plugin is um, a free and a premium version um, the premium version is relatively expensive I think the premium version of this plugin is around 180 US dollars I think and um, but for the in this video um, we are working with the free version the light version and I use the light version as well on on another store so um, I think um, the, the free version the light version is enough for the basic affiliate program and um, yeah so I want to show you real quick what this um, plugin has to offer you. Okay here I have a few screenshots of the plugin so um, here you can see the affiliate dashboard here um, this is your dashboard when you are on the store then you can see have a good overview of all your affiliates you can see um, the names the emails um, the IDs um, and the affiliate rate, the commission rate, and uh, you can also see what they um, what their earnings are. And here you can see what you have already paid them, and um, yeah, so on and so forth. So this is really good. You can uh, have a good overview of your affiliates, what they are doing, how much traffic they are bringing in. And uh, let's go to the next one. So here you can add manual um, affiliates. So if uh, somebody uh, I don't know, don't want to uh, create um, their affiliate account, you can add them manual, manually. So, and here is um, the user dashboard or the affiliate uh, dashboard. Here you can um, toggle on and off the affiliate. You can um, set the, the commission rate for each um, affiliate. So, of course, you can make a basic affiliate uh, commission rate, but uh, when you have, uh, when you want to give some some affiliate more revenue, uh, more commission, then you can do this. Uh, this is really good. You can see the email. You can change everything. And here also, of course, you can ban affiliates if you are not okay with someone who registered to your um, affiliate program. You can ban them, and then. Um, here we have the detailed commission you can see what they have sold in your from your store which product are sold and um, who sold them and so on yeah and here you, we can see the payments so you have a good overview of the payments uh, here you can see what uh, you own them 
and um, yeah, then you can make uh, or send them the money uh, via bank transfer, for example, or of course you can send them uh, the money on, via PayPal until you can update the status of the payment. And this is the registration form. So you can place the registration form on your website everywhere you want. You can use a short code or you can um, work with a Gutenberg block. So and here you can configure the um, re registration form. You can um, see what they have to or you can specify what they have to put in to um, sign up to your affiliate program. This is really good really handy. Um, here is the um, affiliate dashboard. You can give them some um, some tools here. The next thing is um, <clears throat> the uh, commission option. You can um, set so you can change the settings for taxes for discounts and so on. And here is the affiliate dashboard. So for the affiliates when they are logging into your a website or when they are logging into their affiliate um, dashboard then they can see um, their uh, conversion rate they can see their earnings and their visits and their conversion rate and all the good stuff and um, yeah they of course can also generate links so th um, when they want to promote a specific product in your store then they can grab the link um, paste it in here and yeah transfer the link to an affiliate link this is really good and yeah that's it so um and then i want to show you how to install this this plugin on your website or on my website in the site in this case and uh yeah then we make all um the necessary um settings and yeah so let's get started so okay now we want to install this plugin so um of course you can download the, um, the plugin from this website and i will put the link to this website to the plugin the plugin website in the video description down below and yeah you can press here download or simple simply copy the plugin name and then we go to uh, plugins plugin plugins and add new and um then in the search bar we paste in the name of the plugin and of course there it is and now we press on install now okay now the plugin is installed and now all we have to do is click on activate to activate this plugin okay and now we have a new menu here you can see on the left side here um j j i t h um, here you can see um, affiliates, system status and how to install premium. We are going now to affiliates. Then let's go to general options, general options here. And here we can see, um, here you can see the, um, um, the, the query before the link. So um, you can change this if you want. It's not that important. Um, the cookie name isn't uh, that important as well. Uh, leave this as it is. And um, here you can um, set the cookie um, expiration. So um, when you want to uh, that the cookie expires, then you can uh, toggle this on or off. And now um, the cookie will expire in 24 hours. So this is a little bit short, I think. We can make it, I think, to two weeks or two days. We can, let's make it two days and then we make it to 30 days. This is good, I think. And um, let's click on save options. Of course, you have to um, make a text when you make your um, your uh, registra registration, your affiliate registration website or your page, then of course you have to write it um, how long the cookies are valid and um, when the cookies are expired. And of course that is what you have to do on the affiliate um, registration page. So um, here you can see affiliate uh, registration. Here are um, the settings what you want so they can choose a username they have to put in the first name last name email password <laughs> privacy uh text they have to check and uh terms and conditions um bum, bum, bum. okay here you can see uh here yeah this is all up to you how you um uh, set it up and then let's go to the affiliate dashboard let's have a look what we can um set here so um, 
where to show the affiliate dashboard in a specific page using the short code. Yeah, this is good. Um, the short code I will show you later how we played them. Uh, choose the affiliate dashboard page. So um, yeah, this is pre-selected. Uh, or even we can um, copy the short code and paste it somewhere on our website. So this plugin is really good. It uh, has a lot of options, a lot of settings we can play around with. Here you can see um, the, the sharing options, um, the automatic sharing where you want to allow to share it. I think um, everything is okay. Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, we can leave them checked. So uh, here you can um, predefine the, the, the text. And um, yeah, if you have a print Pinterest URL and then commission, I think this is um, interesting. Here you can see the default commission rate. I think um, let's put it on 10%. I think it's fair. You can um, put it on 50 or 20 if you want to. So um, yeah, and then we click on save. Uh, and here you can see um, in the in the light version, you're, uh, the only way to um, transfer money to your uh, to your affiliates is uh, via bank transfer. We can activate this. So um, if you want to use more payment methods like PayPal or Stripe or whatever, then um, yeah, unfortunately you have to buy the premium version. But I think with uh, wire transfer. Um, I can live with this and uh, yeah, maybe you can live with this as well. So yeah, great. Then um, that's it for the settings. So you can see it's uh, really, really straightforward here. And um, yeah, it's uh, nothing too fancy. You have these settings. And um, so let's uh, copy this short code here real quick. Uh, affiliate registration is this okay yeah and um ah okay here um this is the registration form so um let's copy this and then um, we go to pages and let's um, add a new page so and let's call this page affiliate affiliate duration reg oh registration this way okay and um then we can make a short code here place a short code and here we can insert our short code great and then we can click on publish and of course if you uh well, then we can click on view page and of course, on this affiliate registration page, you have to give more information why uh, they should sign up to your affiliate program, give them the affiliate, give them the rates, the rating, the commission rates and uh, the cookie expire date and all the good stuff. So, um, yeah, uh, write a really good text um, that they sign up to your affiliate program and that they promote your product because yeah uh, promotion is uh, really good for you and uh okay oh and uh for some reason this didn't work oh we uh lost this oh okay okay now i think update and let's see how this is going let's refresh this page and yeah okay now it's working so you can see when they are here on the page and uh, they read all the text <laughs> and then they click on become an affiliate and then they will get uh, redirected ah, okay um, right now um, i'm already logged in that's why um, i don't have to fill this out yeah because i am the administrator and i am logged in into the website but if they are new, then of course they have to uh, do the registration process. And let us see if I am now um, listed as an affiliate. Let's go to affiliates. And I think, yeah, now we have, um, uh, I am registered as an affiliate. So you can see my status is on pending. Uh, you can um, 
set this on automatically um, accept new affiliates or on uh, on the review process. And when we click here, we can enable the affiliate, reject affiliate or ban the affiliate. Um, yeah, so let's click here on enable affiliate. And now I am an affiliate on my site. Now you can see I am accepted. And uh, yeah, now we can um, do uh, all the stuff. Okay, yeah, I think um, that's it for the video. So yeah, like I said, if you are looking for a really good way to um, get an affiliate program on your website, then I think this uh, plugin is really good and it offers a lot of options, a lot of settings, but it's not too complicated. And um, yeah, I think an affiliate program is uh, really good on every website because yeah, affiliate programs are uh, free marketing. The affiliates do all the marketing for you. And um, yeah, this is the main reason why so many websites have affiliate programs because yeah, um, the affiliates do the marketing and the promotion for you. And uh, yeah, so um, this uh, website, I will put the link in the video description, check it out. And um, yeah, if you learned something new in this video, then make sure to press the like button and also um, yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will publish more and more helpful videos about WordPress, WooCommerce and web design and SEO and all the good stuff. So yeah, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.